Now joined by Tom Anselmi, President of Business Operations and Chief Operating Officers of the Empton Oilers Hockey Club and Ice District. Tom, thanks for joining us on this busy day of yours. Yeah, yeah thanks. It's a real honor to be here. It's uh, quite a whirlwind, but it's been it's fun so far and uh, really looking forward to get going. Tom, uh, in a conversation earlier today, you talked about how there are only 31 of these jobs in the National Hockey League and in the world. You've expressed how grateful you are for this opportunity in Edmonton, but it also has to be a right fit for you. So why Edmonton and why Ice District? You know, I, uh, I've looked at a lot of things over the last little while, and, uh, and this one just kept coming back, and uh, maybe part of that is Jurgen and Bob are great salesmen. You know, I've known Bob for a long time, so for me it really boiled down to, to three things, people and, and who you're working with, and that's really important for me. Uh, you know, and that starts with an owner that, that, you know, wants to win and wants to invest in our success, and, you know, great, great people like Bob and, and Jurgen and, and the like. Um, you know, it's about what's in place already. You know, one of the best arenas in the world, and one of the, you know, uh, one of the best players in the world, if not the best. Uh, you know, and a good supporting cast, a good core. Uh, you know, GM like Kenny Holland, uh, somebody who I've admired for many, many years in the league. Uh, and then lastly, just the potential. You know, not only about uh, you know you're a couple of years after the building's open now and and sort of growing the business organically, but everything that's on the table strategically to to really grow the business and and and, and you know be a real force in, in in entertainment globally. That's pretty exciting stuff. So, really happy to be here. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're throwing some alliteration at us early on this Monday morning. People, place, and potential. Let's talk about potential a little bit and the potential that you see here in Ice District and how far it can really go. Well, you know, uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're watching what's going on right now in St. Louis uh, with the Raptors tonight. I mean, uh, you know, the idea of the arena as a community center, as a gathering place, is really, has really come to roost. And I think, you know, we probably helped kickstart that with what we did in Toronto with Maple Leaf Square. Uh, and, you know, never in our wildest dreams would it turn into what it's turned into. But, you know, making the finals will do that for you, I guess. And we saw it in St. Louis last night, you know. And so it's become really important to, for fans to engage in our game in a lot of different ways, you know, from, you know, sitting courtside or, or, or face to the glass to just being part of it, you know. And, and so that opportunity exists here. I mean, this is one of the greatest facilities in the world, if uh, North America for sure. And so, you know, to, to, to be able to take that now and build upon that and uh, I just think it's an extraordinary opportunity. And, you know, we've got to get the hockey team right. And Kenny and his guys are going to do that. And then, uh, and then uh, you know, we've got to be right by our fans and, and make sure that we, we remember who's paying the bills here and give them a great experience and, and, and make it uh, a place they want to be. And everything takes care of itself after that. Tom, you talked about your experience in Toronto. You have a resume that really speaks for itself. You joined MLSE back in 1996, overseeing the development of the Air Canada Centre, uh, promoted in 1999 to COO, and then president in 2012. Talk about your time in Toronto and how that's maybe helped shape you and your career. You know, I, I've been really lucky along the way and uh, just had some wonderful people I've worked with and uh, some great mentors along the way. Um, you know, Maple Leafs uh, sports was, was just an interesting thing. I mean, we, we took this these two organizations and put them together and, you know, had owners that really wanted to invest in growth and, and uh, wanted to win. And uh, we did some of that. We did some of the other, the opposite of that as well. But, uh, uh, you know, for, for the most part, it was just a, a wonderful experience. And it was, I was there 17 years and, you know, from, you know, the team of us and what we put together, I mean, you're, you're seeing the product of that now and, uh, and it's pretty exciting to see. And, uh, you know, that's why, you know, I, I, could, I couldn't say no to this and, and the chance to do that again. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's going to take a bit of time, but I think, uh, I think we're on the right track. We've got lots of great people here and we've got lots to work with and, and, and that's what it's all about. Uh, you talked about 17 years in Toronto. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. What was the, <clears throat> maybe the thing that you learned most about yourself in those 17 years? Uh, you know, just, uh, just work hard, do right by people, um, you know, do the right things. Um, you know, you got to think strategically, you know, there's, there's no shortage of ideas, just time and money and people, right? So you've got you to do things that really move the dial and, and focus on what's important to the customer and think like the customer or, or in, in our case, the fan, right? Like think what they, you know, what's important to them and, uh, you know, be a place where people want to work, be a place where players want to play. And, and if you do those kind of things and just do right, um, you're fine, you know, and, and that's what makes it fun to you, working with people and, you know, young guys like you and watching you grow and develop. I mean, that's the job we're in, right? We're in the job, we're in the people development business, whether you're a player or whether you're an employee here. And, uh, you know, that's what makes great organizations. Alluding to your answer uh, a little earlier in the interview, 
You talked about your relationship with Bob and others. Now, there's been some changes here in Edmonton, specifically on the hockey operation side with the additions of Ken Holland, Dave Tippett, among many others. What have your conversations been <coughs> with Bob on that front, and how much of a factor did that maybe play into your decision of coming to Edmonton? Uh, yeah, it was really important. I mean, I, Jurgen and I talked a lot about where the organization was going. That was Jurgen I really spent more time with. I've known Bob for a long time, but uh, we talked a lot about where the organization is going, what Daryl's vision for it is, um, you know, what's important to them. Uh, and those are the kind of questions I wanted to ask first. Um, you know, a guy like Kenny Holland, his resume speaks for itself. And, you know, I've known Ken for a while. I spoke to him before uh, taking the job and to really get a, a you know, feel for what, what he saw. Uh, as the potential. Uh, Tipper, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to meeting him. Um, you know, these, these are guys that have done it before, and, uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, we're all here for one thing, and that's to win a Stanley Cup, uh, to make our owner proud, make him proud of the business we've built for him, and, and, uh, and to make our fans proud, and make our community proud of, of, of what this is about. And when you do that, this is, that's why this business is magic, you know, and, uh, and uh, can't wait to get started. It's going to be fun. I also think this interview is magic. Uh, Tom, thanks so much for joining us on your busy day, and uh, welcome to Edmonton. Anytime.